Hi friends! Welcome to Story Adventures with Meredith. Today's adventure is perfect if you like cats because this one is called No Cats in the Library. And let's find out if this cat gets to go in the library or not. We're getting a clue. It's saying no cats in the library. But let's see how the book ends. Clarice was a stray cat who loved books. She couldn't understand the dark squiggly lines, but she loved looking at the pictures. One day she stumbled upon a magical building where people walked in empty handed and came back out with books. She had to get inside. So what do you think the magical building is? A library. A library. One of my favorite magical buildings. But the keeper of the books wouldn't let her. She tried to sneak in again. So see, she's hiding in someone's backpack. Let's see if she gets caught. But no luck. No cats in the library, sorry. Until she noticed the book drop. Uh-oh. I think she's gonna try to get in the book drop. And there she goes. She jumps up, jumps in, and she's in the book drop. She was in, but to her dismay, all the books were full of those dark squiggly lines. There were no pictures to be found anywhere. Why are words so hard? Oh, it looks like someone is saying that, someone else is saying that. Let's see, who might be wondering why words are so hard just the way the cat is wondering it. At last, a book with pictures. Oh, hi, kitty cat, said the girl. You want to read together? Okay, I'll try again. So it looks like the cat found a friend. Clarice had never been read to before. It was amazing. As the girl read aloud, the dark squiggly lines became words and the words and the pictures together became stories. And see, all the things are coming alive for Clarice and probably for the reader as well. <laughs> oh, thank you, little kitty. You helped so much. Ready to go, baby? Mommy, I did it. I read to the kitty cat. Clarice couldn't wait to find more children to read aloud to her. A read aloud cat? Such a good idea. Can we come back tomorrow? So I think it was this girl that was saying, why are words so hard when she was reading the first time? But then when she got to read to the cat, the words became easier. She was having more practice and she was getting to practice reading aloud, which always helps the words feel a little easier. And not always, but sometimes it helps the words feel a little easier. And now she wants to come back again the next day. But the keeper of the books had found her. Oh, so the keeper of the books has not let the cat stay in the library yet. I wonder what's going to happen now. Read aloud cats are welcome in the library. Mm -hmm. So it looks like the librarian, the keeper of the books, has changed her mind and is going to allow Clarice to stay. From then on, Clarice's new life in the library was wonderful. She got pets every day and met so many lovely people. She even became good friends with the keeper of the books. 
<laughs> and best of all, what is best of all, I wonder? Every day was filled with stories. And it says, read to our cat every day from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. <laughs> oh, that does sound wonderful. I love when every day is filled with stories. So that is the story of no cats in the library. And I can't wait for our next adventure. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Story Adventures with Meredith. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.